friends and my dear students welcome back to my channel a very warm good morning to all of you here in this session we are going to learn one important theorem of standard 9 mathematics that is in ncrt textbook theorem number 8.1 what is that theorem the theorem is if we take the parallelogram and we will draw the diagonal of the parallelogram then definitely the diagonal divides the parallelogram into two triangles. We have to prove that both the triangles formed by that diagonal are congruent. So, we are going to prove that theorem. It is very important theorem for exam perspective also. So, see that theorem and see the proof of this theorem. Let's see the proof. This is theorem 8.1 in NCRT textbook. The theorem is a diagonal of parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. Means, if we draw the diagonals in a parallelogram, it divides into two congruent triangles. Means, the triangles which we are going to get are congruent that we need to prove. Now, what is the data for this theorem? Quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram which is given. Data is means what? It is given. Diagonal AC divides this parallelogram ABCD into two triangles that is triangle ABC and triangle ADC to be proved or to prove that is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Let us say into the figure as ABCD is a parallelogram which is given in the data. We draw that it is a parallelogram. You know the characteristic of the parallelogram. Opposite sides in the parallelogram are always parallel and equal. Now let us see, as I draw this diagonal of the parallelogram, it divides into two triangles, that is triangle ABC and triangle ADC. What we have to prove? That both this triangle, that is triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC. Both these triangles are congruent, that we need to prove. Let us start it with the proof. First of all, let's try to compare about this two triangle ABC and triangle ADC. So, we'll write it in triangle ABC and triangle ADC. We'll try to see the correspondence between these two triangles ABC and ADC. First of all, I will take it that is BC is parallel to AD. And I will consider that AC is a transversal. Let us say into the figure BC and AD. You can see this BC and AD both are parallel to each other. We know that these and these lines are parallel. And this one is considered as the transversal. Then let us see just forget about these two sides. AD and BC are parallel and this is a transversal then you can see here this angle and this angle means this angle and this angle both are forming here are the pair of alternate angle you know what about pair alternate angles alternate angle means the figure which form Z shape you can see these and these are parallel this is a transversal then it makes Z over here this one so, this angle and this angle. So, I should write it here that angle, this one, BCA, BCA is equal to, that is, DAC, this angle and this angle. So, BCA, this is equal to DAC, angle DAC. Now, let me say, this is to be 1. And I'll write it. Why is it so? We can say that pair of alternate angles or pair of alternate angle. This is one. Now you can see as we saw these and these are parallel. This is a transversal. This one angle and this angle. Both these angles are equal. Now you can see in both this triangle this AC is a common side. So I'll write it. AC is equal to AC. Why is it so? Let me give it equation number 2 and I will write it common side 
of two triangles right now if we focus over here then these and these are parallel lines so i'll write it here that ab is parallel to cd and again that ac is a transversal let us focus over here in this figure you can see ab and cd are also parallel because it's a parallelogram we know that opposite uh, the pair of opposite sides are always parallel in a parallelogram so these and these are parallel and ac is taken as the transversal then this angle that is dca and bac these two angles are also pair of alternate angle because it is also forming z you can see this one it makes the z shape and you know that z shape means what it's a pair of alternate angle so this angle and this angle are also equal so i should write it here that is angle dca dca is equal to angle bac this and this angle bac let me say this is number 3 as well as i as well as i will write it here in the bracket why is it so pair of alternate angle now you can see in this two triangles we have taken the correspondence that this angle and this angles are equal similar way this angle and this angles are also equal as well as here you can see this is a common side so what theorem or what rule it is implemented over here angle angle side side as well as angle angle so i can say angle side angle rule should be implemented over here so i can write it from 1 to and 3 we have written three result 1 2 and 3 from all these three we can say that as per a s a rule you can say both the triangles are congruent triangles so that is triangle abc this one the lower one triangle abc as well as triangle adc are congruent abc is congruent to triangle adc now that we have to prove it so that we prove but ultimately we'll write it diagonal diagonal ac divides parallelogram abcd in to two congruent triangles we'll write it even the name triangle abc and triangle ad see this we have to prove it so we prove it i hope it is very easy students learn it very well it's a important theorem for as exam perspective as well it is very simple you need to only implemented as a rule and you can directly prove it that both these triangles are congruent triangles